Hey guys, just wanted to come to you for the word of the day, but we're not necessarily going to do a word of the day, we're going to do a phrase of the day, and that phrase is forever joyful. You ever wonder what it's like to be joyful? It's not a matter of, matter of being happy, it's not a matter of being uh, what you're looking at as far as your uh, overall happiness, but being in a true joyful manner through the Lord. You know, God wants us to be happy, but he also wants us to be joyful. And joyful is a totally different aspect of life. And that comes from our desire. That comes from what we're looking for in our lives and what we're looking for from us. But God also said, if you rely and trust in me, your desires are going to line up to what we want or what he wants us to have. And that's never prevalent in what he wrote in, uh, in Romans 8, 5. He wrote this. Those who live according to the flesh have their mindset on what flesh desires. But those who live according to the Spirit have the mindset on what the Spirit desires. What that's saying is we have a day-to-day -day desire for our flesh, whether that's a bigger house, wonderful cars, or doing other stuff. But what he's saying is, if you're lining up with what my desires are, what the Spirit desires, it's going to be a totally different aspect. We're going to desire what is helpful for others, what is better for others around us, whether that be a church or a community or our country or our world. What we desire is going to be in line with what the Spirit asks. Also, in uh, Psalms 37, 4, it says, Take the light in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. That is also saying, if we're delighting in the Lord, if we are following what the Lord has for us, our desires will line up with His, and He will be happy to give it to us. You know, we all love having a bigger house, big, bigger car, better job, all that stuff. But it comes from our flesh. It comes from our desires, of our, our fleshly desires. It's really awesome to see that if we line ourselves up with what God has, the immense of what he's going to give is going to be greater than anything else like anything else that we ever desired in our lives. That also comes down to our wants and our needs. You know, we want this. We want that. We want to be able to do this. But God's saying, trust in me and you'll have everything you need. You know, our needs and our wants are two different things. And that's also what he told Timothy, who he one of his uh, mentees that he had, and if you look at 1 Timothy 6.6, 6, it says this, Godliness with content is great gain. You know, being content with what God gives us, being content with what God has for us, is awesome. And he wrote this so his protege, who is Timothy, would understand being grateful for the basics of what we have in life will keep us from the traps of what our wants are. And not only that, it also allows us to stay focused on the wonders of God. God's grace, actually. Be the wonders of God's grace. Training ourselves the spirit of gratitude for all the blessings that He gives us. Think about that. Our blessings. If we counted our blessings on what God has given us rather than what we want God to give us, how long would it take us to count them? A great phrase was said this, when you look to others with their lands and what they have, think Christ has promised his wealth untold. Count your many blessings. Money cannot buy your rewards or your uh, rewards in heaven, nor your home on high. So this is what I'm going to tell, this is, I'm going to end this with this, and I'm going to say this, count your many blessings and you'll soon lose count. There's so many out there. What are you grateful for? Through this time, through this uncertainty of the uh, code of 19, are we looking for our many blessings through this? Or are we looking for other things out there? I just wanted to say this. I am blessed beyond measure of what God's given me. And he has met every one of my needs through this. 
and I am just so thankful for those for meeting those needs that I am not going hungry, my bills are paid, and I still have a wonderful life through him. And I hope you can say the same thing. And if not, take this and look at what your blessings are and put away your wants and allow him to work through that. And I just want to thank you for your attention. Blessings to you.